Hello and welcome to Able Top Simulator. And today, as per his re the request of Elite, we will be playing Battlestar Galactica. Wait a second, hold on. I think I didn't jump these crap. Oh boy. Oh my god, there's a nuke. There's a couple of them. I'm gonna go play with a nuke right now. Well, boom. Well, shortest game ever. I've See you next time, people. Do 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 do. Do. All right. Um, let me shuffle these decks because I didn't. I'm not sure if I did do it. Um, you guys can help. All right. There we go. Um, sorry about that. Um, now we in order to build a destiny deck, which is going to come into play later. Um, again, a lot of these things I can just tell you when they come up. Yeah, as for me, I am pl So why don't we tell who each of our characters are? I am playing Chief Gallen... G uh, Galen? Gallen? Uh, I'm just playing the Chief. Chief Galen Tyrol. I am a maintenance engineer, so I tried to use a repair skill. I can take another action. And after a card has been added to a skill check before revealing it, I can make one of the a skill type, a strength of zero. However, I'm reckless, so my hand limits eight instead of ten. And I start off in the hangar deck. Oh, oh by the way, I've been... no. What was that, Elite? I forgot to give you a million cool tokens. They they note how they note that you've used your once per game or not, and you can actually get more million cool tokens back, and your once per game is can be used again. Okay. All right. So, Tom, Did who are you playing? I am playing as Carl Hello Agathon, military leader. I am the eco officer, and once during my turn, I may re-roll a die. I that uh, was just rolled, but I must use new result. And I am also stranded, so I don't start until the second turn in the hangar bay. Also, with your moral compass, if you make a choice. If someone makes a choice on a crisis card, you can change it. Indeed. <laughs> well, I'm Starbuck, and for some reason I've changed gender since the 70s show. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole reason I wanted to pick Starbuck, was to make that joke. Uh, uh, really? Yeah, I'm an expert pilot. If I'm starting my turn piloting a Viper, I can take two actions instead of one. Once per game, I, after a crisis card is revealed, I can say nope and discard it and draw a new one. Hey, and, he, he, and, when a, and I'm insubordinate, and so if a player chooses me with the Admiral's Quarters location, the difficulty is higher. No, the difficulty is, is reduced. Oh, never mind. Because the idea is that you get thrown into the break easier. And okay. also, you know, you know, you just had a sex change. That's normal. I got my body changed with Zarek. Yeah. Because they, because the act, because Zarek's actor is um was uh, the original Apollo. All right. So what do you got? All right. Um. Okay. So first of all, oh, oh, yeah, didn't I'm, say I'm playing as um, I'm playing as Alia Dama, aka Apollo, and this, and I am a forward thinker, which is after activate an executive order skill card, which is a nice card, which we'll come to later. Um, and the chosen player has finished moving and taking actions. You may activate the current location. And then there's choose a different path. Once per game, when you make a choice on a crisis card, you may choose to have the result be the current player discards five cards. However, I have a moral dilemma, which is whenever I draw a mutiny card, which is which is from this deck over here. Oh. Okay. I I have to discard two skill cards. Alright, so we know the players. Alright, now let's determine who's what title, although it's kind of easy considering we don't have multiples of the same type of character. First off, the president. I am third down the line of succession, and Laura Rosalind and Gaius Boltar are not in play, so I am the president. Ooh, what does that mean? I that basically means we have to go da 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 I basically get I basically what's called quorum call. And they have some nice. They have some uh, different effects, and that th these effects are exclusive to the president. 
Okay, so what else we got to work with? All right, the admiral is is um is is Carl Hegel Agathon, who of course is Crazy Canuck. Nice. So, so what... we've given the we've given Canuck the nukes. <laughs> yes. <What>? Oh boy. <laughs> what? We, hey, we gave we this are... guy the nukes. I'm sorry. Oh boy. But uh, you, but you, um, Black Roo are are the cat. Oh, cat. Well, what am I? Uh, sadly, you do not have any sort of title. I'm the repair man. <laughs> <laughs> repair man, 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 man. <laughs> Get to work, disc jockey. Now here's the wait, thing. Wait, wait, look, look. Someone hover over this. It says repair the McDonald's. <laughs> yep. Because he's yep. a bit chubby. He's chubby. Oh, shut up! Who yeah, thought I was balanced? Has. Who thought I was balanced? Because my forward thinker ability is overpowered. <laughs> Drew has rule 63, rule 63 Starbuck. Starbuck. And of course, Mr. MIA. Because <laughs> you don't start. You start the game not on the board. Yeah. All right. Um. Now, if you notice beneath your beneath your flaw is where you set up. I'm starting off at the admiral's quarters. I'm at the hangar deck. Okay. I'm in the hangar deck as well. And I am nowhere. Yeah, where it... Hey, uh, you've seen the show, uh, Gru. Uh, what, what's the story no, on I this have... guy? All I know... All I know is, uh, I've seen, like, two episodes of the 70s show and, like, half of the first episode of this one. Huh. Maybe I really... Maybe I should see if Hulu has it. I know. Yeah, uh, Netflix, I haven't seen any of them. The '70s either. show. The '70s show is like a, is a is a um uh is a is a space op is is more of a space opera. This the the uh, modern version is a bit of a drama. So what are we playing? So, drama or '70s? This is a, this is a drama. Although it's probably going to end up being drama in the sense that we're going to be pointing fingers at each other. Yeah, Who's the heck is Let's get to oh, yes. that rule. Speaking of that. Yeah, um, if you like that, I don't know why you don't like paranoia. Because that's all paranoia. You're a well, silent! Zap, 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 zap. How's that different from, you're a traitor! Zap, 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 zap. Alright, here, okay, here's the thing. Um, alright, well, I had to build the uh, loyalty deck. Which, which will have different effects. Um, uh, ba uh, each card has different, different rulings. And none of us have had played any character that adds loyalty decks like the like the original guy, Spoltar, who starts the game with an extra loyalty card, and uh, Sharon, who, at the sleeper phase, which we'll get to later, draws draws an extra. Okay. Alright, so, so I'm going to deal one out to everyone, and do not say what you got. This is supposed to be secret. Hmm... Okay. What? All right. Now, let's see. Is there anything else you need to cover? Um. Well, I guess I guess we're good to start off now. All right. Now, um, everyone, draw three three of any of these skill cards. Now, they had to be from your. From your set of skills. And I'm presuming... Except, let, let, me, let me guess how this works. Since I, I can only get one of the politics, because I only have one politics, but I can get two leaderships or two engineerings. Uh, hold on. The, you're partially the right. That's what, um, you can draw, at this at this stage of the game, what, this is only when you start off. You're drawing, you can draw three of politics if you wanted to. Because this is this is your starting hand. Your starting hand can have just anything so long as it's, it, so long as you can draw from it. And every time it says you can draw a card, unless it specifies that a you can draw outside of skill set, or b it says a certain skill set, like the research lab, like says engineering or tactics. All right, I will. I'll just take three engineerings. Can I look okay, at good. it? You can put them in hand and look at them, yes. Just can't tell us what they are. Okay, then. 
All right, now. Hmm. Um. Normally, uh, since uh, since grew 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 world highest, I normally would have let him start off. However, since I know what I'm doing and not everyone else, I'll start Go off. Ahead. And so, I draw from my skill set, which is one tactics, uh, two piloting. And I can choose between leadership and politics. I will choose leadership. Okay, and I have taken two tactics. So wait, I also have one other question. Are loyalty cards counted towards your hand? No, only skill cards. Okay, that's... Then I'm gonna... Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Someone might flip it up. Just making sure. Uh, make a hidden area for yourself if you really want to do that. In fact, I kind of suggest it. All right. Uh, it's now, not letting me make a hidden area. I think it's turned off, so I'll just keep it in my hand. Oops. Okay, hold on. Uh, Hit me take that. Missions, hidden areas. Okay, now you should have the ability to do it. There we go. All right, now um, I'll start this off, and I will go over to. I will head over... Okay, I'm going to change into ships. Now, for us, the only ships that we can go to is the Galactica, Colonial One, and the Pegasus. Wait, Th this, the Galactica? Th this, is only for, this is only for sounds that reveal themselves. Okay, yeah, okay so we got the Pegasus. And, hmm. So ignore this for now. That's only until later in the game when the Cylon is not only there, but revealed. Yeah. Alright, so I will go to the Colonial One. However, to transfer over to different ships, I have to discard a skill card. So, I'm going to discard Quick Thinking, which which reminds me of something I forgot to talk about. This, um, as you can see, it's a skill sh check uh, card. It, it has Wait, zero at the go top. Back, go back. What are you doing? Okay, whenever I transfer over to, different, to a different ship, I have to discard a... Um, I had this card skill card. Okay. Oh, this is the and ship you. Is this the ship you went to, or? Yes, that's the ship I went to. I thought you were going to the Pegasus. No, I, I must have misspoke. Well, like I said, this no, is. No, he so wants to get a Colonial One because that's where the president's office is, and he's the president. Oh, I didn't know this was. I didn't know this was Colonial One. I, I I thought this was just another thing. Okay, so like I said, quick thinking. Um, this is, um, I discard this to go over there, but it also, it's a good thing because I wanted to show you guys what this, what cards like this do. As you can read, it's whenever this card is played into a skill check, the current player may choose one card with the strength of the year less, but not a quick thinking card, and at, and remove it from the check and add it to his hand. This comes really useful if a card is screwing you over, or there's a card that you really like in your hand. Okay. When there's, in the skill check. So... Like I said, I know it's the quorum chamber. I've used up my movement, so I'm going to activate that thing. Okay. I can draw a quorum card, and I can either play one or draw another. I will just, I decide to draw another quorum card. Um, now we do our first question. Let me shuffle because I. Okay. Unsettling stories. Now, as it says at the top, the current player chooses. We can either go for the skill check, or we can just decide to go lose one morale. Now, when it says current player chooses, normally you're allowed to talk amongst yourselves, but there's a nice house rule that only the that that only the only the current player and um, and if it says admiral chooses. Like, say, maybe the one the current plan, the Admiral can discuss it. I think we might want to discuss this all, at least. Okay, so, this is kind of the start of the game, so I... So, losing one morale is not that bad. However, yeah. discarding a skill card, on the other hand... But yeah, and drawing one treachery card. Tre the only time treachery card counts positives is if some sort of card allows it to, or we're using the airlock. Hmm... Which is on the Pegasus, and as you can see, it has the orange symbol. And 
Okay. So I, so I'm going to make the choice to lose the morale. All right then. Now next up, as you can see in the corner, there's the Raider symbol. That means they activate and they move one space. Great. Now, um, now the good thing is is that they can only move or attack when when our vipers can move and attack. That's also good. And good thing here is in the corner that's a jump preparation. We move the jump prep by one, which every time we jump we get closer and closer to cobalt. Yay! Not cobalt. Co I I cobalt. I'm thinking um I'm thinking Dungeons and Dragons cobalt. All right. All right, I am going to pass the turn over to Bren and... Oh, wait, uh, but now we have to... Each of us has to discard a skill card, so... No, I chose the ore, which is negative one morale. Uh, no, it says... Minus one morale, oh, wait, and no. then... And each No, player. no, 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 no. As it says, it says pass or fail. Now, if we... It, and then beneath it says ore, we can just take a negative one morale hit. Oh, uh, so you basically yeah. just chose not to do anything. Yeah. yeah, the top one is we put in skill we we put in skill charge for skill check. So okay, that makes sense. So for me Alright, so I have to so I get to draw one politics, two leadership, and two engineering, correct? Correct. Okay. One, two, alright. I'm presuming I discard at the end of the turn because if once I get over yes. my hand with it. Alright. Why are you not oh wait. For Seth. Yeah, I was like, what how do I flip again? I'm just like, wow, I forgot. Let's see, blah blah blah. Alright. Um Hold on. Not, uh, you just Okay, so here's my question. I'm looking at weapon controls. Attack one Cylon ship with Galacticus. Does that count? Is the Raiders a Cylon ship? Yes. Uh, wait, wait, so, yes, that that is the case, although I'd recommend the Base Star. Because the Base Star can launch more of them. Okay. Base Stars are their capital ships. That should let you know how much powerful they are. Alright, well then, uh, I, I'm going to go move over to weapon control, and I am going to take a shot. I'm going to take a shot at that ship chasing us. Okay, if you notice over in the, the corner, there's an attack roll reference, and the, the item on the left, if you look over to the left, okay. no, below that, below, 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 here. This? Down. This way. Sorry, um, I probably should have been more specific. If you notice, the, uh, the item on the left is what's being attacked, Time and we're out. attacking the bells. What? We're talking with Galactica. So you want to roll between 5 and 8. Where where does it say I roll between 5 and 8? Okay, so... With Galactica, it, 5 to 8... Okay, no, 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 stop, stop. Notice the base star image. Now look over to the left. Now, if you're attacking with the Viper, 8, it, it gets damaged. It's all wrapper 7 through 8. With Galactica, it's 5 through 8 is damage. Okay, okay, I'm seeing, like, the numbers... Okay, around the, the, the around the star. Whoa, 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 whoa! You're you, you're looking the wrong thing. Down this way. Right oh. in front of the actual table. Yeah. Right where you, right where Canuck's finger was. Okay. See, my bad. So let's see. So I have to roll between a. This is five and eight, and I take. It gets the damage. I damage it. Good. The die is right here. All right. Uh, let me see, let me so I can if I had anything that could help with skill cards is I can boost it or is this like a skill check or something or is that uh, just they're, they're they're okay it's not a skill check however if you have a card called strategic planning you could play that and you can do its effect okay just and I'll say same goes with calculating of All course right. it's ten uh, why do you have so many cards because. I get, uh, I get, I draw one policy. He started, he started off with three, and, um, at the start of his, he started off with three, when the start of the game, and at the start of his turn, he drew the five. Ah, oh, okay. All right, and sadly, I, I don't know, was that, it looked like a drop? Yeah, it looked like a drop to me, roll again. 
Yeah, it's hard to sort of sometimes dice roll for one. That's a four. So unless you anyone has a, a card called Cackling they want to play, it's one of those skill cards. Mm-hmm. All right, so no one has that, so it does not get damaged, sadly. And the good thing is though. that my hand limit is eight, and my... And we still have to do your Christ card, which is... All right. Okay, the president chooses this. We either lose two food or we lose one food and the president discards two skill cards, then the current player discards three dis skill cards. Um I'm willing to ditch I, two skill cards if it means we're keeping some Well you you'd be ditching three. Yeah, I'm I'm willing to ditch three, but are you willing to ditch two? Uh yeah, quite. I I'll discard I'll discard this and I'll discard this. And so that's a fair red tape. Iron Rail. Wow. That's another one of the skill checks. Red tape. Yeah, we didn't need food anyways. Well, we get, hey, we only lost one. Okay. Now next is the is the Raiders, which move forward. And we move the jump prep by one. All right. All right, so now it is Black Rue's turn. I recommend you get out onto your Viper. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Now, look, now, okay. So in order to get up, now, I'd, actually, I'd recommend you use a, an Assault Wrapper. Okay, I can do that for the same kind of speed? Yes, because every time it says uh, it says Viper, um, it, because there's only Vipers they can pile back in the original game, you can use any sort of palatable ship. Okay. Now, Assault Raptors, the only downside is that they are destroyed on a 7 or 8 rather than the 8. However, their their cons outweigh... I, are, I mean, their pros outweigh the cons. For one, when we jump, you can stay out in space if you want to. Okay. Two, two when attacking base stars, you will, you, you're, you're hoping for a 7 or 8 rather than an 8. Okay. Hmm. And I'm trying. To, and yeah, it's, there's no three though, but it's it's pretty nice. Oh yes, and you and that ship can't be damaged; can only be destroyed. So you do have a bit more evasiveness. So what I suggest is that you take your first, you take your movement action and go over to here. I should probably move this guy. Move you. And because you're now unlike the other the other titles. Uh, your your yeah actions your your actions listed here they're free okay nice you, I mean they're uh, free in the sense that you get one per turn but you basically basically <laughs> a Starbucks cag is very useful because you get the two you get the you get your movement hey uh, he didn't you, draw his cards no I didn't oh, I'm still trying to keep up here sorry you draw your cards that are listed uh. On your or anything, and excitable, since it's uh, excitable, elite, excitable. Sorry. All right, so I'll take an engineering, two tactics, two piloting. Let's see. Yes. One, two, one, two. So how do we draw more loyalty cards anyway? Like, let's just say. No uh, one's got let me. Silent. Okay. Ne okay. Um. Once, once we get to a distance for, like, say, once the once we jump. The animal gets to pick two two of these destination cards and flip one note and put one. If you notice, there's a distance of one. Once it totals four, this the the sleeper face activates and we all draw a new um a new a new what's loyalty the distance card. Phase? Uh, what's, what's the distance? Uh, it's on cobalt. Okay. And that's to be the sleeper face, which is four. Okay then. That's the that's the literal midway point for the game. All right then. All right. So, like I said, you have your one movement and, and my, one act, my one action on the assault raptor and your and, then, and your uh, cag action. All right, and my cag action. I recommend. I recommend. I'm still uh, looking, man. Leave sorry. me a bit. Give him a chance, elite. Just come on. 
He knows what he's doing. I can activate an unmanned an unmanned viper. I'm gonna move this to move this one with me. Okay, nice. That's a good. That's what I was going. That I was gonna suggest. Now, for your last action, what you could one moment. And I will pause while we wait for him. Okay, okay we're back. Sorry for the wait. Yay! All right, so. So where were we? Yeah, we we were on uh, Arlie's final action. Yeah. I was explaining to him what uh, the the actions while piloting um, a Viper or a Raptor. Your two actions that you can make, aside from your CAG actions, are escort, which you take a which takes civilian ship off the map, or you can attack. Right. Uh, but you have to be in the same area to attack, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm just gonna escort a civilian ship. And Get right him. here. Yeah, that thing that goes. Right so, here, yeah. All right, then. Now it's a, 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 a crisis card. Someone is. I. Uh. Someone is echoing. 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 Sorry. Yeah, it's. All right, now. Sorry, um, that, that was me. I accidentally pressed C. <laughs> All right, so now this is a skill check that we don't have an option that to not take it or take it. Um, we have okay, we have to take the skill check. Okay. So first of all, there are some cards you can play before a skill check, guys. You can look at it and see if you want to do that. So we can do any green or purple card. And we can put it in that for the skill check, but if you're playing a skill, playing a card beforehand, um, let, okay. Now here's the thing: if it's if the card says skill check in bold, that that base that effect comes into play when it's um when it flips up. However, okay. if it says something like you know what, let me search the deck just so I can give you an example. Um, scientific research. That says play before cards are added to skill check, and all blue is um, it, all blue counts as positive. So if the cards that say play before, play before cards are put in skill check, you can do that right now if you want. Okay, let's see. So I'm guessing um for this skill check, unless the card has a specific effect for it, if like say I have repair. Repair, it just, it, if you were to throw it in, it would just be yeah, the number. Or, just give me a plus or minus one for boys. Yes. Now, here's the thing. we When we're putting in cards with skill checks, we cannot say what number we're putting in what colors. We can be vague, but, like, say, I'm putting in some, I'm putting in high. And, of course, we can we can say what number they are. Like, we, like we have, no, while I'm putting in two cards, I say they're, I'm putting in two cards. Okay. Now, the, now, when it, okay, first off, we have to do the Destiny deck, which is up in the top one corner, which is built from two of each of the decks. So what's Destiny This game is kind of crazy confusing. Yes, it is. It's kind of, it kind of is. Okay, so, it's, it's crazy confusing, um, I'll tell you, tell it just, but then it gets second nature. So, like I said, at the start of a skill check, the two two cards in the Destiny deck are placed down. Now, let's start off with... Okay, now when it comes to putting in s skill cards in, it's always the person left of the of the current player that starts. So, Canuck, so, Canuck starts. Nope. Okay, you're not putting any cards? Okay, so... Do I have to? You don't have to, and I'm going to put in one skill card. It's it's medium. Okay. We only need to pass by. We only need to pass at six, so I'd say only offset for for. I don't really have mu anything to play. My apologies. And it, right. it does it have to be the same color as the thing on the card? It doesn't have to be the same color. However, if it is, the, if it's not a color on the card, it counts negative. Okay. If you're a Cylon, you want to put negatives in, because I'm presuming since we don't know who put what in, we shuffle the deck. 
No, no. I now there are cards that have a zero in the corner, and that's because they they have an effect that is played when the skill check is resolved. Yeah. Like say Iron Will. Yeah, I'm now wishing I saved Iron Will. Yeah, this is an easy skill check. I think we can pass as long as the the silent does not spike this. Okay, we shuffle it so we don't know who put in what. Okay, we have Trust Instincts, which it has skill card effect. Oh, and... Okay, this is... Alright, so... We do the effect of Trust Instincts. Cause... The only reason why we do that because skill checks... Both. Hold on, I'm getting another call in. Give me one moment. All right. So, All right. Base so anyway, yeah, that, that my dad called. He, he just put Skype on his cell phone. He was testing it out. He didn't know. Yeah, and um. So what? What, what did I miss? Uh, no, uh, no, uh, the call was completely on hold, so we, everyone was silent. Um. All right. So first off, the trust instincts, instincts effect kicked in, and two cards came in that that hurt us. And we have failed the skill check, and, however... No, we do not. Wait, I declare an emergency. No, no, no. No, it says play after strength is total in a skill check to reduce the difficulty by two. Even we then, still we, lose it. Really? We lose it by bad. a lot. Really? What happened? Well, first off, oh, we only had five the level. positive, and then we have... Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, My bad. We, I wasn't we thinking. lose it by a lot. I did not think. Um, I'm sorry. We don't. Yeah. Now, however, we we did resolve the effect on uh, trust instincts, but not a better machine right now. So basically, we have to put. Well, it says current player, but really, it doesn't can do really it. matter. Just put two two cards into the destiny deck. All right. So we fail and we lose a morale. And the current uh, and the current um, and all characters in the command location end up in the sick bay. Actually, I wasn't. I was in weapon control. I was just. I just had it moved. So he could read yeah. weapon control. Yeah, I should have just put it up, not. You can hit alt because the car. There's like a car. Oh, I see. It. I see. Yeah, yeah it doesn't smart. work for all of them. The brig is cut off. Yeah. Yeah. Um and three three raiders launch out of the base star because that's what the the card says in the bottom. Damn. Although that is not that is not the wor worst. I've seen some bad ones. Okay, so I, I guess it would be Connect's turn. However, we have reached the uh, stopping point for this episode. But we will continue very shortly, so we'll be right Let's back. Let's see who is the greatest Cylon. There's only one Cylon. Yeah, you, you, can make, you can make the noise now. Thank you. See you next time.